crafty creation with you today, something super simple and that I love uh, mainly because it's something I can change out seasonally and my kids are growing up super quick so being able to change out the photos and not have to open up frames every time is, has been really awesome. So it's basically just a frame, wooden frame that I actually, it came with our last, the, the first home that we owned they left this big mirror and so we took the really heavy mirror out of it um, and I used chalk paint um, to do a nice little finish on it. It was a gold colored frame and so I just did a really uh, rough coat of some blue gray chalk paint and I kind of like how it turned out because you can still see the gold coming through. And then I put a piece of chicken wire on the back. I secured it with a stable gun. Now. My staple gun was not as heavy duty as it could have been, so I'm wondering if I used a better staple gun, if it would be a little bit more taut. Chicken wire is quite hard to work with. I recommend wearing gloves. It is quite sharp on the ends once you cut it as well. But um, it's not horrible, but I think it would look better if it was a little more taut. So try and get the most heavy duty stapler you can to pull it tight on the back. Um, so anyway, from there I just have some mini clothespins and then I have a variety of um, larger clothespins. Some have kind of a burlap on them, some have glitter, um, some have cork. So just different clothespins I had from different projects I use on here and I switch it out. And so as you can see it's a variety of family photos and these is, this is else, something else that's kind of another creative crafty project um, that I do with my Instagram photos. I simply made a little template in Photoshop that looks like an old Polaroid and then I bring my Instagram photos in, pop it on and print it out with a black border so I know where to cut um, so that they're all kind of uniform and so I really love those. You could also add right here what what you captioned that photo on Instagram as if you if you want for further memories. So what I like about this board is once I want to switch it out um, I, I pop them all into a photo box that I got that I get when they're on sale at Michael's so it's kind of like a box full of little Polaroids and different size photos five by sevens um, this was a Valentine's card that we gave to some family this was a um, announcement that we were having another little baby so it's just a really nice way to put your memories all in one place and really simple and easy to switch it out seasonally. And what I have below, um, it's kind of kitty looking right now, but seasonally, uh, right now Easter's coming up, so we have some crafts, eggs, and chicks. Um, but I also hung some Valentine's cards there, birthday cards when my daughter turned two. So that's kind of fun. It adds, um, it adds a little seasonal element at the bottom, and my daughter likes to put things on there and play around with it. And for my daughter's birthday, this is in our family room, our living room area. So for my daughter's birthday, I had large 11 by 14 posters of her up on this board, as well as balloons and um, a banner that said Adderness 2. So you can also use it for parties and events that you throw. Over here, I have another example. Um, and this one still has pictures on it from her birthday party. Um, so it is another frame that I think I... I got, um, it's an heirloom kind of thing. Uh, I had nothing in it. I painted it gold and put the chicken wire behind. And so that's a really nice look too. You can do it with, um, also with eight by 10 and 11 by 14 and five by seven frames, like a variety of frames. Um, and then hang them all on the wall side by side to create a collage of frames with the chicken wire. That would look really cool too. You can even just um, put one single picture and then get some embellishments like these. Um, just these are from Michaels, but the dollar store probably has a lot of things as well. Um, so that's kind of 3D. Or if your kids have uh, artwork and things that they've created, crafts that are more 3D, you can add those. Um, so this is just over my little desk in the hallway here. Um, and that's, a, that's an example of how if you're having an event or something or if it's Christmas you can quickly switch it out to be really seasonal um, and they're just really great fun kind of country chic and very DIY crafty so hope you enjoy this crafty creation leave your questions below if you want to if you have any questions about what I did or 
what to do or anything I didn't cover.